the AMD Radeon RX 580 was and still is one of the most popular budget graphics cards options out there. In 2018, AMD decided to release the RX 580 2048SP, possibly because of its popularity. As the name suggests, it has only 2048 stream processors, as opposed to the 2304 on the standard 580, and it also has a reduced texture unit count at just 128 instead of 144. Whilst it's unclear why exactly they released the RX 580 2048 SP, given that it was only sold in China, we can kind of take a guess that their target market was someone that wanted a slightly less powerful card, but at a cheaper price. Something like a Chinese internet cafe, perhaps. But regardless of which version you chose of the RX 580, you are limited to either 4GB of GDDR5 memory or 8GB. But now, thanks to some modding of these cards in China, you can buy the RX 580 2048SP 16GB. But is the 16GB even necessary? Well, let's find out. So here it is. The Dicker Saver 580 16GB in white. So first impressions of the box are not too bad but it really does remind me of a card I just recently reviewed. In fact, the text on the back is exactly the same, with the smart fan, all solid state design, and low power. Even the icons are exactly the same. In the box, we get our instruction booklets and the graphics card, which comes in this nice pure white color. There is one HDMI on the entire graphics card, and the IO shield becomes bent to standard. The graphics card itself looks very similar to the Sapphire Nitro mining cards you can get. As you can see here, the boards are very very similar. It also has the exact same design around the 8 pin PCIe power connector. You can see that there is one HDMI port on this card, which the Sapphire card also happens to have behind this IO shield. I think it's pretty likely that this Dicker Saber card is a refurbished Sapphire mining GPU. So I was going to test this card before taking it apart. But because the IO shield is completely bent, it can't even be plugged in. Disassembling the card is relatively easy. We just unscrew the screws and the plastic backplate came off. When I took off the backplate, I was surprised that there were thermal pads. And the reason for these thermal pads is that they're actually memory chips on the back of the card. It seems like in order to get 16GB on this card, they had to put an extra 8GB on the back of the card. So I looked up these memory chips and they appear to be Micron 1GB GDDR5 VRAM chips. There are 8 on the front and 8 on the back giving us a total of 16GB of GDDR5 video memory. For the specs of this card we have 2048 stream processors, 128 texture units, 16GB of GDDR5 memory which we should know from before, a GPU clock of 1275MHz and a TDP of 150 watts which is powered by that 8-pin PCIe power connector. So let's bend this IO shield back into place, reassemble the GPU, and plug the graphics card in so we can get some tests running. Okay, so now that we're in the desktop, we can see GPU-Z shows that there is 16 gigabytes of Micron memory. AMD software also shows 16 gigabytes of memory, and so does Task Manager. In order to get the most out of this card, we need to try and find some games that actually utilise the amount of memory this card has. Like, just because something has more memory, it doesn't mean it will get any performance boost unless the memory is actually being used. It's already what a lot of people waste their money on as they decide to upgrade their RAM size when they don't even need that much RAM. Meaning they just wasted their money on a pointless upgrade. Don't get me wrong, if you use that much RAM then it's a good upgrade, but if you don't use it, then it really has no benefit. So I first started by testing GTA 5 at the highest settings at 4K with MSAA x 8 and I realised that the memory usage bar was only at about 6GB. So I ran the test anyway and sure enough, we didn't use anything over 8GB, so we will need to use another game to test the card fully. However, in GTA 5 we did get an average of 19.4fps with a 1% low of 12.8 and a 0.1% low of 12.2fps and this seemed not too bad considering this is at 4K max settings. I then tried Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080p at max settings MSAA x4, and we only used about 6GB again. I was going to test at 4K, but it wouldn't have gotten the VRAM usage we needed. So in Red Dead Redemption at 1080p we got an average of 16.7fps, with a 1% low of 15.8 and a 0.1% low of 15.7fps. I imagine if we ran at 4K we would probably be entering single digit range. 
out of curiosity, I tested the RX 580 2048 8GB card, which is actually a 470 or 480 with a 580 BIOS, I believe. But I found it actually performs better than the RX 580 2048 SP, possibly due to the higher clock speeds. So the 8GB card, we got an average of 17.3 FPS, with a 1% low of 13.6, and a 0.1% low of 12.4 FPS. So this is actually higher than the 16GB cards, except for the 1% and 0.1% lows were a bit lower. Resident Evil 3 was next, and I cranked all the settings up to the highest at 4K. It said it was going to use about 12.82GB of graphics memory, which got me excited. But when I actually got into the game, we were only using about 8GB. So thanks Resident Evil 3 for that. The FPS was really good on this game as it's not too difficult to run. We got 52.1 FPS on average and a 1% low of 44.6 and a 0.1% low of 21.1 FPS. Next up we have Forza at max settings MSAA x 8. So first we tested at 1080p and we were using about 8GB of VRAM. We got an average of 32.6 FPS a 1% low of 25.9 and a 0.1% low of 11.9 FPS. The 8GB card at the same settings got 35.2 FPS on average, with a 1% low of 27.5 and a 0.1% low of 22.8 FPS. So the 8GB card outperforms the 16GB card by a fair amount here. However, having said this, I did get some memory warnings on the 8GB card, which I did not get on the 16GB card. And sure enough, when I turned the game up to 1440p, the 16GB RX 580 was now using about 9GB of VRAM and getting 24.5fps on average, whereas I couldn't even get the game to work at 1440p or 4K on the 8GB card. And then at 4K, the RX 580 16GB was getting about 16.7fps on average, using 10GB of VRAM. At least we now know that this card does have 16GB as it's using more than 8GB in games. So I tested some games that use quite a lot of VRAM, starting with Flight Simulator. I have the settings on the highest at 4K, and we were using over 10GB of memory. We got an average of 13.5fps with a 1% low of 9.9 and a 0.1% low of 8.9fps. So the FPS really wasn't good here, but if we compare it to the 8GB card, the 16GB RX 580 actually performs better. The RX 580 8GB only got 10.9 FPS on average, with a 1% low of 9.4 and a 0.1% low of 8.3 FPS. I guess this does go to show that the 16GB can actually make a difference in games, but the only problem is the actual RX 580 GPU inside is just not powerful enough to play games at these settings. Finally, I tested Star Wars Jedi Survivor at pretty much max settings at 4K. The 16GB RX 580 was using over 10GB of VRAM again. It achieved an average of 7.2fps with a 1% low of 6.9 and a 0.1% low of 6.8fps. So this is pretty bad, but at least the RX 580 8GB performed worse at just 6.5fps on average with a 1% low of 5.1 and a 0.1% low of 4.9fps. Out of curiosity, I also ran 3D Mark, and the 8GB card performed better at a graphics score of 3944 compared to the 3774 of the 16GB card. This is to be expected, as it is the more powerful card if you don't take the extra VRAM into account. And I believe 3D Mark does not require large amounts of memory. Overall, the 16GB VRAM can actually be used in games, and it does actually appear to make a difference on performance. The only problem is the RX 580 GPU itself can't really handle the games at these very high settings at 4K. But only these settings at 4K, very high settings, can actually use this much VRAM. So it does kind of make it seem pointless. I'm gonna have to say that this card is not very useful, especially when you consider it costs about $30-$40 to $40 more than the 8GB version. But maybe there's something I'm missing here like some mining application or some weird thing you can do with this card. Let me know your ideas in the comments. Thanks for watching.